So, football is dead. And maybe I'm mistake, we know who killed it. Twelve greedy fucking assholes. In case you missed it, the European Super League has been announced. Are you excited? No, because you shouldn't be. Because if you're a true football fan, you won't watch one fucking second of it. And I mean even highlights. I know I won't be watching a damn second of it. I am disgusted at Liverpool. I am disgusted at all the, these clubs. I am especially disgusted at Michael. I'm especially disgusted at John W. Henry. You fucking asshole. How fucking dare you? Who? You fucking insult the legacy of, the, of Bill Shankly. You insult the legacy of Bill Paisley. You insult the memory of the 96 who we just celebrated 32 years of mourning. Hmm. You insult the legacy of every name that has played and, 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 and put everything they have into a football game for Liverpool Football Club. And you think we're just going to take it? No, motherfucker. I hope you're prepared for, for war. Because you've started something... I don't think you know what you've started. Do you know who we are? We are the whole football club. And it won't just be us. It won't just be us. And you will quickly realize, oh, we have done fucked up. Get out now. Back out now. Say, you know what? No, we can't do this. Can't do this. We're out. Do it quickly. Or you're going to understand that the true power in football, the true owners of Liverpool Football Club are people like me. People like every fan in the world. We are the true owners of the club. We are. Because we buy the shirts. We go to the games. We he buy every little piece of merchandise you put out. You think we're just going to take this and not? Complain? We don't want this. So yeah, we are going to complain. And I am not just calling out Liverpool. But trust me, they are getting the most of my venom. Because I'm a Liverpool fan. But if this goes true, I'm never even going to watch football. I don't even know if I'm going to watch the Liverpool game tonight. I might start straight away. I might start, start straight away. I might tell them go fuck themselves. I would be shocked. In fact, I would be disgusted if there is not a protest ahead of today's game. There should be a protest immediately. There should be families in Liverpool. Being woken up at the crack of dawn today. He, he, being decked out. Who's, 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 not in Liverpool who kids. Just in regular clothes. Don't don't buy kits. It's just make your voices heard. And I'm not just imploring this to the Liverpool fans. Bring your Evertonians with you as well. They're going to want to join in there. They don't want to see this shit. They don't want us gone. Hmm? I 
can guarantee you they don't want us gone. Hmm. They might say they want us gone, but they don't really mean that. We've seen how powerful, how how strong, how united it Mercy Side can be with the like when you look at something like the Hillsborough the foundation and how the win how united Mercy Side became. You don't think the blue side eight will join us? They will. Manchester, I expect to be the same. London, there are three clubs from London in this shit. Three. Two are North London. North London, I expect to be burnt to the fucking ground. I want instant up war. Show them. Show them what we can do. Show them who we are. Show them who the real big big guys are. Show them who is really in charge. I am calling on every fan to gather. Fuck restrictions. I don't even think Boris Johnson will oppose those because he doesn't like this idea. He'll probably say, gather, gather. He he might fucking come out and join us. Gather. Here, wear your masks if you feel oh you need to. Ooh, but just make sure you're out there. I don't care where you are. Here, but it would probably be best if you gather in front of the stadiums of these teams. So I want to see you in front of Anfield. You need to get in front of Old Trafford, the Etihad, the Emirates, Spurs' new stadium, which I think is just called Spurs Stadium, and Stamford Bridge. Get in front of those stadiums. And not just us. Get in front of the Bernabeu. Get in front of the Catmill. Get in front of i um, not sure what Al Echo's new stadium's name actually is, but get in front of it. Get in front of all stadiums, but mostly those stadiums. Get in front of the stadiums of the clubs who think that we're just going to take this. Who think we're just going to be good little boys and girls and just say, Yay, we get to play these teams every single week. No, that's not going to happen. That's not what's going to happen. You are going to find out. These assholes are going to find out. True power in football is the fans. And the fans will make ourselves heard. John W. Henry, you fucking scumbag. I don't want you just to stop. I want you out of my club. You heard me right. This ain't your club, motherfucker. You may own it, but you don't really own it. You own it in name only. The true owners are the fans. And you will find that out very fucking quick. Because you've pissed off 99% 99% of us. It should be 100%, but you get idiots everywhere. You get people who will support this shit. But not enough. Not enough to make it viable. The majority will speak out. We will make our voices heard. You will not. This is not going to be easy. This is 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 not going to go smoothly. If you think we're just going to shut up and take this, if you think we're not going to make our voices heard, 
you're wrong. You are so fucking wrong. And you're going to understand that. You're going to understand what you have done. Will you be sorry? I bet you will. So, I hope you're ready. Because it's coming, and you can't stop it. In fact, you've fueled it. You're a fucking disgrace, John W. Henry, and all the others. I'm disgusted and appalled as a liberal fan. I'm disgusted and appalled to be a liberal fan right now. We do not want this, and we will make you know that we will not support it. So keep a close eye on what happens. You will see that the fans want to be he. He hurt, and we will be hurt. Save our sport. And we will. Trust me. We, the fans, are the lifeblood of football. And if these greedy assholes think different, they're in for a rude awakening. Go. Go now. Go now, and don't leave. Everyone is on our side. Everyone is on our side, except for those 12 fucking idiots. Let your... Let our voices be heard. Let our voices be heard. And our voices will be heard. You can trust me on that. This will not happen without a fight. And the fight starts now.